Mm, hello. <laughs> Sorry, do excuse the mess, but I had guests for dinner, and they were delicious. Let no one tell you that the French make the best pâté de foie gras. I find that the English do just as well, especially if you use the plumpest, freshest children. <laughs> Quiet down there! It rubs the garlic butter on its skin, or else it gets the bones. Some people say that children are our greatest natural resource, and they are. Or at least they will be when the bacon runs out. Mummy wasn't thin. She always described herself as quite big-boned. Turned out, she was quite ordinary-sized bone, didn't it, Mummy? People don't know what to make of Mummy. I intend to make stock. This next story chilled even Mummy to the marrow, or would have had I not had her marrow on toast with a delicate caper chutney. This next story shows the perils that befall those who go too far the other way. This next story is called... Dead skinny. Come on. Yes. Andy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Donna. Mm -hmm. Yes, Donna. Yes, Donna. Yeah. Yes. 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 I beat you in your face. And a little bit on your tits there. Oh, Andy, look, will you just... In your stupid, unsatisfied oh. face. I oh, am the champion, my friend. Oh, my <laughs> and I'll keep on something mm -hmm. to the end. Yeah, all right, calm down. No time for losers. Oh, I am the champions, mm -hmm. do, 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 of sexual intercourse. Oh, nice. <laughs> I win again. How long were you on the sunbeds today? Uh, the maximum? 14 minutes. Mm, well, I disobeyed the maximum. 22 minutes. Come on, you lose. Oh, God, you're sexy. Mm. And slightly crispy. Yeah, good, isn't it? It's, it's what You feel like a wallet. That's mm. sexy. You come equal first to being sexy. Hey, we share mm. sexy gold. High five. Come, come on. on. Hey, what are you reading? Scorch magazine. It's just pictures of celebrities with big red rings around their physical imperfections. Sounds good. Yeah, it is. Did you know that Linda Bellingham has a row of eight nipples running up her back in a diagonal line? Oh, I know, I didn't. Yeah, well, she does. What have you got there? It's, um, it's Weetabix in water. You? Cubes of balsa wood. Well, I've got to keep to the diet. You can eat anything as long as it's wood. How much did you lose yesterday? Half a pound. Ha! A pound and a half! Not including my faeces. Enjoy your wood. I'll see you at work. Yeah, thanks. I will. Ow! God! God! You coming for pizza at lunch? <laughs> no way! I have got to lose more weight than Andy. So what are you having? This. A vacuum cleaner. Precisely. By just vacuuming my mouth for an entire lunch break, I can't take in any calories at all. In fact, I might even hoover some out. You don't think you're perhaps taking this a little far? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Every day, right, every day he manages to lose more than me. I hate it. Well... What? I've got the name of this guy, a specialist who helped my sister. I thought she was bulimic. Yeah, he helped to become bulimic. She was really fat up until 2006. Oh. Guys, can I have everyone in the conference room, please? Stat, last month's sales figures are in. So, do you want his number? <sighs> no, I think I'd rather do it through willpower. Willpower and wood. All right, now, guys, all right, please settle down, settle down. I'm going to make this quick. Hard and dirty. 
I like me sales meetings, like I like me women, you know? Short, focused, and um, ideally Filipino. Now, once again, Andy and Donna here are our two top sales people. Mm. Now, I want everyone else to have a good look at them. That's right, don't be shy. Lean on in, have a good old look. Touch them. Get to know what good sales people feel like. Smell them. Lick them. Just imagine how they taste. Yeah, anyway. Right, without further ado, Andy's total sales last month were 82,496 pound, a new record for the month of September. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Uh, firstly... Uh, whoa, 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 Andy, I'm gonna have to stop you there because Donna smashed that record with total sales of one hundred and one thousand two hundred and four pounds. She did what? Yeah. Donna got total sales of it. over a hundred thousand pounds. Instead of applauding me, I just like everyone to take a moment to point and laugh at Andy. Stop it! Stop the bottom has fallen out of his incontinent pants. Second best again. Eighty-three thousand is a significant contribution. Stop it! Shut up, all of you! Shut up! Sorry, Annie. Was there something you wanted to say, Paul? Her yeah. figures may be better than mine this month. Yeah, they but you, are. Yeah, but you know what isn't? Uh, her uh, actual figure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, take a look at her. What? She can't lose any weight. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. She's a hideous freak. Her BMI is significantly higher than mine. Point at her. Rhiannon. Yes. Look at her. What's the number of that specialist? Number 22. Number 22. Ah, here it is. Number 22A. How odd. I don't remember seeing this here before. Oh well. Hello. Uh, hello, Dr. Esliab. I, I have an appointment. H hello. I'm meant to be here now. I very much doubt that. Oh. Oh, you scared me. Um, Dr. Esliab. It's spelt Esliab. It's pronounced Esliab, yes. Ah, oh, right. Because um, the thing Actually, is... call me Robert. Oh, right. Um, Robert... No, I... don't do that. Why are you here? My friend gave me your number. Does your friend hate you? I want to lose weight. You won't find anything to make you happy here. Oh, I don't want to be happy. I want to be thin. That's all I want. The price is very steep. Well, what will it cost me? Your immortal soul. You are? It will cost you your immortal soul. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought you said £80,000. My immortal soul. I've done. I just want to lose more weight than Andy. Very well. In exchange for your immortal soul, you will every morning... Lose half a pound more than Andy. Deal. Well, I must say, I thought you'd drive a harder bargain. I mean, I was ready for it. You know, I'm in sales. Just my immortal soul. You're in sales? Mm. Then I'm going to need five grand as well. What's that smell? I can, I can smell a smell. Something smells. And good morning to you too. Why can I smell a smell? This is breakfast. Breakfast doesn't smell. It does when it's bacon. But you don't eat bacons. You get too fat when you eat bacons. How much weight did you lose yesterday? Two pounds. Ha! I lost... How much did you lose? Two pounds. But, but that's that's half a pound more than I lost. Is it? Want some bacon? Um, actually, do you have any, have any wood left? Are you going to keep this up the whole way to where? Not saying anything. 
You are absolutely the most childish man I have ever met. The most childish? Yes. Ha. I win again. Oh. Hello. Andy. Uh, yeah, sorry to bother you. Um, I was just wondering um, if you've come to a decision about the promotion. Come the tits in, Andy. Sit down. Take a load off your feet. I don't weigh a load. I've decided against giving you the promotion, Andy. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Could you let go of me leg? What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I was really, I wasn't um, really expecting it. No, truth be told, and it's fine. It's really, you know, as, as, as long as you haven't given it to Donna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, as, as long as you haven't... Right. Right, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I'll be off. Sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, if that sweating hasn't stopped in 20 minutes, I'd call an ambulance, all right. Okay. Aha! I don't smell any bacons this morning. Didn't turn out so well for you yesterday. Start putting the pounds back on, did you? And what's that? What's that you're eating? Mm. So what's that you're eating there? Cake. What? Mm. Cake. I lost two pounds. I hate you. Mm. 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 Um, what are you doing? I'm packing my clothes <laughs> and I'm leaving you. Oh, this isn't because I'm much thinner than you, is it? No, no. It's because I'm... What, what are you eating now? Lardons. Lardons? Mm, yeah, cubes of fat. I don't even really like them, but they're really Moorish. Fine. Well, I'm leaving you. Hmm. Sorry, shouldn't those be cooked Yeah, first? shouldn't you be on your way? Yes, of course. Well, I have to say, Donna, this is one of the most impressive offices I've ever seen. <laughs> not the most impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but really, not the most impressive. Eric from accounting has a nicer carpet in his. But you've got it all now. A desk, an air vent, a bubble jet printer. Knock, knock. <laughs> Come in. Right, uh, Donna. Donna, welcome to the big time. Just thought I'd pop my head round the door and shake the hand of our newest regional team leader. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. No, I do actually want to shake your hand. Oh, right. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, we'll be presenting you with an award at the company's annual dinner next week, so uh, make sure you've got a nice frock on. Oh! What's oh, the matter? Oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just one of the small bones in my hands. They've been snapping a lot recently. OK, I'll leave you to it. Ah. Oh. I'm in quite a lot of pain. Good. Uh, you're looking excellent, by the way. Oh! God. Oh, and don't get too attached to the bubble jet. Uh, Eric from accounting needs it. <sighs> what do you think? He looks a bit baggy on you. Mm, can I help? She's trying to find a dress for a dinner. They're giving her an award. <laughs> oh, lovely. And you look divine in that one. You can see her ribs poking out. I know. Marvellous, isn't it? Kira <laughs> Knightley wears one just like it. <gasps> Does she? Well, no one's ever told me that she doesn't. You can count the nubbins in her spine. <gasps> Spines are very on trend this season. And I don't mean to harp on about it, but her <laughs> ribs are clearly visible. <sighs> if you want, dear, I've got the number of the man who can whip those right out. Mm. Believe me, you've never seen such a beautifully flat chest as one from which the rib cage has been removed. Mm. And that's going to be vital if you want to wear any of next year's collections. Okay. She looks like a concentration camp victim. Yeah, she does. Well done. An incredibly sexy concentration camp victim. I'll take it. You're here. You look amazing. Hello, Donald. I'd like you to meet the real-life celebrity who will be presenting you with your award tonight. Michael Greco. Who? Uh, Pepe of EastEnders. Oh, wow. I thought you were really sexy about eight years ago. <laughs> I think you're really sexy now. Really? Yeah, you look incredible. Like, like a sexy concentration camp victim. Thanks. Shall we go in? 
Rhiannon, can I have your bread roll? No. Oh, please. No. You've had my starter and my main course. All I'm going to get at this rate is my bread roll and dessert. You're going to want your dessert then? Shh. We're about to start the speeches. Gentiles and lady men. Uh, that was a joke. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, uh, that was another joke. I speak in public quite a lot. Is there anything left in that bottle? Shh. Piss off! How did you get drunk so quickly? Shut up! Shush! No! No, you shush! Prestige. I know. Ah! Oh! Could we have another bottle of red here, please? Will you be quiet? No, actually, I will not be quiet. I've got a lot to say about Andy, who didn't want to be with me anymore because he's a tosser. He tosses a lot. And it's all about the penis with Andy. Donna! Penis, penis, penis. Why is there a spotlight on me? Donna, come and get your award. Is it a penis award? That's Donna. She's got a great sense of humour. And quite good tits. They used to be bigger, but they've shrunk. Oops! <laughs> Who put that chair there? Donna. Yes? It gives me great pleasure to present you with this award for excellence in regional toiletry sales 2009. Thank you. There you go. Oh, it's really heavy, isn't it? Not really, no. I just just like to thank the company for this tremendous honour and to say, Woo! <laughs> in your face, Andy. I mean, I know Andy isn't here, but I'd still like to put this in his face. Now, let's all get pissed. Woo! <laughs> and now we have a tribute to Ben Wicks, one of War Administrative Staff who sadly died last month. Woo! Uh, we're lucky enough this evening to be joined by his wife, Marie, his widow, Marie, sorry, his baby child, and our thoughts are with them at this very difficult time. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, Donna. Mm. Donna, there's, there's something I want to... Are you sleeping? Oh, just a few more minutes. But we're in the middle of dancing. Hmm? Oh, it's Beppe. <laughs> Hello, Beppe. I'm going to have sex with you. Beppe shoots, Beppe scores. Sexy, sexy sex with sexy Michael Beppo. Yeah, I like the way you... <laughs> Not on my shoes. These are my good shoes. These are my Beppe shoes. Sorry. <laughs> Donna, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Marie. Donna, you've turned her husband's death into a tragedy. Why don't you go home and get some rest? All right, fine. Come on, Michael. Let's go to my home and get some rest. By which I mean sex. No, I'm going to have to go and explain to my mum what's happened to my shoes. She'll have to spend ages cleaning them. Yeah, but, but, call me. Oh. Donna, will you leave? Fine, I will. It's all right. I'm alright. I only slipped on vomit. Donna, you're a disgrace to the anal cleanliness industry. Don't bother coming back to work. Now I have got to go and buy Michael Greco new shoes. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not stopping, Donna. I just came to drop off your stuff from the... What's happened to you? Good, isn't it? I'm under four stone now. But you're covered in... fur. It's Lanugo. It's called Lanugo. It's, um, it's a soft, downy fuzz that the body develops to keep itself warm if you don't have any body fat. Do you want to feel? No, God, no. <laughs> Do you want to come in for a cup of tea? I've just bought your stuff from your desk. Oh, please come in for a cup of tea. Well, just a quick one. Thanks. And Rhiannon. Yes? Would you mind giving me a piggyback? There you go. Are you all right? Yes, thanks. Do you need a name with that? No, I'm fine. I can manage it. I like you like that. 
I prefer it off the floor. I'll just get... No, no, no. Leave it. Okay. <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh, God, what is this? Oh, I'm sorry. There's a clump of my hair. It's getting everywhere. But, but, but it's good. I've always had very full hair. It needed to thin out. <laughs> Donna, I think you should see a doctor. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to understand. What's that meant to mean? Are well, you so jealous? Jealous of what? what is <laughs> jealous that I'm the thin one now and jealous that everyone fancies me. Jealous that... Jealous me... that of your hair falling out. But I've got new hair all over my body that you can only dream of. Right, I'm off. Fine. Then go. Off you go with your, your strapping muscular legs Bye. that you can easily hold your body weight because you're fat. Hi, this is Andy. Yeah, I know, it is exciting. Uh, leave your words after my curds. And by curds, I mean beep. Oh, hi, <clears throat> Andy. It's Donna. Um... I'm doing excellently, really, uh, really excellently. I've touched, I've touched Michael Greco. So um, I was just calling to see if you were um, on planning on losing any more weight. You know, I, I, I might stop for a while. You know, it's gone so well. Um, I've got to go because uh, there are some men who'd like to have some some sex with me at the door so uh you know but do call back i'll uh i'll stop having sex with them if you ring uh yeah we it'll be good to talk to you bye fatty <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? Hello? In here. Hello? Uh, hello, I've got your groceries, you're on like... Oh. oh! God, do you mind if I open a window? Something smells terrible in here. Oh, that's just vomit. Vomit and the smell of my stomach digesting itself. <laughs> that's oh. what happens when you get really thin and, and sexy, you know. Right, well, I'll just open it. No, 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 no. Don't. It gets so cold. I get so cold now. Just just put them in here where I can reach them. What, not in the kitchen? No, the kitchen's so far away. Right. Oh, oh. Uh, they're, they're out of tampons, so uh, I put in a replacement. Yeah, uh, what's the replacement? The Doritos. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've stopped menstruating anyway. Right, OK. Can I get your signature, please? Why don't you sit down and have a snack? I've really got to get a signature. I'll sign if... If you sit down. Right. Oh, what are these? Little rice crackers? Oh, those are fingernails. They've been coming out whole. I, I really need a signature. Oh, you, you don't have to go so soon, surely. You, 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 can, you can sit down and stroke my hair. No, no I really need Just to Just stroke. Stroke. Ah. Oh, that was the last bit. It just popped off. Do, do, do you want some of the last hairs? It's, it's fine. I, I'll sign for you, all right? I, I pulled them out for you. And, and, and some scalp, too. Look. <laughs> you, you could have some sexy, sexy scalp. Yeah. Yeah, he wants me. <sighs> Come on. Donna, you can do it. You ate 14,000 calories yesterday. You can put a pound back on. Oh, no. It's your tooth. Oh, I've lost a tooth. Oh, it burns. It's burning inside my throat. Oh. Oh, it's you. Hello. Do you want to come in? Oh, can, uh, can, we, can we just lie down here for yeah. a while? Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
You've lost some weight. Yeah, you have too. Yeah, yeah. Just a couple of pounds. How many pounds? 46 pounds. 47. Loser. Oh, look, should we should we just call it a day with this with this weight loss thing? Uh, you first. No, I th- I, it's better for me if you go first. No, no, you go first. No, I think it's quite no, essential. No, I, I can't go first. Andy, I got some help from a specialist. Me too. Well, we're here. But, but, it, it's gone. But, it, it was right here. But between these two doors, it's, it, it's completely disappeared. What number was it? What, 22A? I remember thinking... Oh, no, it look, was... there it is. It's there. This is, this is 18. Oh, yeah, that's right. it. Right. <laughs> ah, back again so soon. What can I do for you both this time? You sold us both the same treatment. Yeah. I lose a pound more than him every morning. And, and I lose a pound more than her every evening. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Is it not working? Oh, yeah. yeah it's been working quite well, actually. Mm. My testes have shriveled to the size of lentils. Lentils don't weigh much at all. And all my hair's fallen out. Oh, not all of it. You've got a lovely covering of Lanago. Do you make it stop now, please? I'm afraid that's quite out of the question. Uh, but why? Did you not look at my name? Robert Esliab. Do you know what that spells backwards? Oh, um, hold on a second. I'm quite good at these. Uh, be- Biel's a sheep What? No, no, no. Bob. Bob Esliab. Oh, that's still only Biel's Bob. Oh, look, my name's not important. Is it Boz Le Boobeb? Look, we like to cancel our treatments, Bob. please. Is it Bob, Bob, Boz Le Boobeb? I'm afraid I can't allow that. We're going to keep on losing weight forever? Oh, no. Well, thank goodness. Only until you die. What, what should we do? If I were you, oh. I should make a will. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Was it not Bob Le Buzz and oh, Blue Bear? Oh, oh, come on, Andy. Let's go home. <laughs> oh. ah. I haven't been this light since I was a four year old. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, I think it's my ribs. I was squeezing inwards. Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh, what is it? Oh my arm just dropped off. Oh god. Oh that's my best arm. It's just dropped off. And it's oozing some some sort of pass. Oh I get the bandages, but I'm too weak to move. Oh oh, oh. oh what's that? There's more teeth! Oh who just who just thought you could have so many to loot. Oh, uh, uh, oh, my ribs, my ribs are squeezing too. I think this might be it, Andy. Hold my hand, Donna. Oh, there you go. Oh. I mean, hold the hand that's still attached to me, Donna. Oh, it's miles away. And, oh, oh God, it's getting really hard to breathe. I'll just wave at you. Oh, oh God, oh, that was my eyeball. Oh, my skull has just squeezed my eyeball out. That, that was my ribs. They're really crushing my lungs now. Oh, my God. Oh, the room's getting really fuzzy now. I can't actually breathe in. Oh, this is it. Well, I've only got one eye. But you look fantastic. You too, Andy. You too. Oh, oh, it's my other eye. And now it's constricting around my brain. See you in eternity. Oh, Andy. Andy. He's gone. But it, it was what he would have wanted. Blood. 
dribbling from his eye, from his eye sockets, but very, very skinny, dead, skinny. So there you have it. Donna and Andy got exactly what they wished for. Unfortunately, they wished for the wrong things. Sleep well, and I'll see you all again next month. All except you. Sweet screams. (laughs) That was In the Gloaming. Dead Skinny was performed by Zoe S. Batley, Ruth Bratt, Michael Greco, Darren Strange, Mark Talbot, Nathaniel Tapley and John Vos. It was written and directed by Nathaniel Tapley. The sound design and production was by Raoul Brand. Tune in next month to hear As Silent as the Grave. For more information, go to www.inthegloamingpodcasts.wordpress.com.